Well, good evening, Noz Wonky here. Well, today, uh, Yuko and I went to a barbecue, which was held by my astronomy club. Take a look. Well, we're at, um, we're at an astronomical barbecue. Well, it's very exciting. Sausages. Can't beat sausages. Here's our, here's our, uh, our chefs. Resident chefs. But they're always the chefs. These Japanese tourists, they can't stop taking pictures. <laughs> let's, let's drink some beer. Shall we drink beer? Well, look at all these happy astronomers eating, drinking, and being merry. You can't beat it. Well, uh, we have uh, an astronomer here setting up his solar telescope. That means you can look at the sun with it. That's all you can do with it, really. One star. It's a one object telescope. But he claims to have seen Venus with it as well. I'm skeptical about that. Well, I'm here with the owner of, uh, of this magnificent scope. Tim, what can you tell me about this telescope? Well, Peter, this is a Coronado PST, a personal solar telescope. Uh, what can you look at with it? One star, I'm afraid, so it's a lot of money for a small 40 or 50 millimetre telescope, and you can only really have a look at one, one star. With it. But, uh, the views are pretty remarkable. Right. Yeah, it's a remarkable view. What can you see on the sun today? What can you... um, quite a few prominences, some filaments, um, and uh, I don't doubt there's some sunspots there as well. Yeah, I think I saw a, one very prominent sunspot there in the middle. It's a, quite, a, quite a significantly different view to that that you get with a, a conventional telescope with a sun filter on the front of it. Yeah, well, I've, I've just got a normal sun filter from mine. Which is great for and, the um, sunspots. And you can see sunspots, but that's about it. So it's, it's really not very good. So, look, I, I think I have to get one of these. I have to get one. <laughs> but not this one. <laughs> yeah. For the technical minded, I gather, this is what's known, it has a hydrogen alpha filter. Does that sound right? Like hydrogen alpha, yes, that sounds right. So it blocks out all of the light except that in the hydrogen alpha spectrum. Right, and that allows you to see a lot of detail. And those, those bits that come off the edge of the sun, um, what are they? Uh, are they prominences? Prominences, yeah. They look, they look like fire. Yeah, where is Irene? She would be able to uh, explain about the fire that's coming off the side of the sun. In right. The detail. Uh, but uh, if you think of it as the scale of what we can see through there, those little bits of fire coming out the side of the sun are probably as large as our planet that we're sitting on today. Yeah, probably even those small ones are as big as the Earth. Well, there you have it. The solar telescope. And, and Tim. There is a flare or something here. Flare? Wow. Is that correct? What's that? Uh, prominence of that's, the right. That's fire. No, it's not fire, it's plasma. <laughs> You're wrong. Someone was mad. Something pointing. Yeah. What the? It's a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> big thing? What? Uh, some. It's like a flame. Really? Yeah. A triangle. It's a fire. It's like fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's really dangerous to see sun <laughs> by sun. It's very dangerous to look at very look dangerous. at the sun through a telescope, unless you know you know the right people, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Tomorrow, of course, is a very exciting event. The Mars Curiosity lander will be landing on Mars at about 3.30 uh, p.m. Sydney time. So uh, I asked some of the people at the barbecue 
about tomorrow's event. Well, tell me, um, are you excited about uh, tomorrow's event? I am very excited. Where will you be tomorrow when... Uh, I'll be at work. Right. But I'll be on the internet. You'll be on the internet watching it. Watching, um, well, there'll be no live footage, actually. All you'll see will be some guys sitting in a room in front of computers, and then they will either jump and jump up with you and clap, or they'll cry. Are you excited about tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's probably some Australian Hunt that I see at some point. Well, you can't really see it. You can, just, you can follow it. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be lots of uh, feeds. There'll be NASA TV. You can go to the NASA website and they'll have the TV of like guys sitting in a room with computers. Eating the nails. Yeah. Well, there you have it. The Mars Curiosity uh, landing thing. <laughs>Well, here's the coffee stand. I'll go in and get some coffee. <laughs> we are very busy. <laughs> we need it. There's no coffee.